my hair and make my heart knock in my ribs. Worthy Macbeth, we stay upon your leisure. If chance will have me king, why then chance will crown me without my stir. Execution done on Cador. But they are not yet to come back. I have spoke with one that saw him die, who did report he confessed their treason and implored your highness to pardon with a deep repentance. There is no art to find the mind's destruction in the face. <clears throat> he was a man on whom I built an absolute trust. <clears throat> oh, worthiest cousin, more as I do than more than all to pay. Service and loyalty I owe, and doing it pays itself. Noble Banquo. I have begun to plant thee, and will labor to make thee full of growing. There if I grow, the harvest is your own. <clears throat> My plenteous joys, sons, kinsmen, thanes, we will establish our estate upon our eldest, Malcolm. But signs of nobleness like stars shine on all deservers. Weird sister, the Plumies and the King, which is a bit weird. Weird, yeah, King. I can read, thank you. My dearest partner in greatness. And, and, and they told me he was going to be a new Thane of Cawdor. And guess what? The weird sister saluted me. Thane of Cawdor, thou shalt be? Yep, he's a new Thane of Cawdor. Gosh. Those witches sure are something, aren't they? Don't you have a door to open or something? Not at the moment. A knocking is heard. Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> Great Gloms and now Cawdor, thou shalt be what thou art promised. Yet I do fear thy nature. It's too full of the milk of human kindness. Hide thee hither, that I may pour my spirits into thy knee. What is your title? The king comes here tonight. Thou art mad to say it. Is not thy master with him? So please you, it is true. Our fame is coming. Give him tending. He brings great news. <laughs> Raven himself is forced that croaks the fatal entrance to him under my battlements. Come, you spirits, and fill me from the crown to the toe, top full of the direst cruelty. Make thick my blood and take my milk for God. Come, you murdering ministers, come, thick night, and haul thee in the duddest smoke of hell. Great gloms, worthy Cawdor, greater than both by the all hail hereafter. My dearest love, Duncan comes here tonight. And when goes hence? Tomorrow. Oh, never shall sun that morrow see. Your face, my thing, is a book where men may read strange matters, look like the innocent flower, but be the serpent underneath, and leave all the rest to me. <laughs> Act one, scene six. The fatal entrance of King Duncan to Macbeth's castle. Ah, dumb tomato, <laughs> that's a pleasant scene. Are you going to make another fart joke? No, I just need to pass the tie on until it has a lovely view. Quite right, it certainly has. Another cucumber sandwich? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> 
Straight to bed. Take my dagger. There's husbandry in heaven. Their candles are all out. A heavy summon lies on me like lead, and yet I would not sleep. Ah, take that. Take okay, that. give me my sword. Who's there? Friend. All's well, son. Off to bed. I dreamt of the weird sisters. I think not of them. Yet, yeah, you would spend some words upon that business. At your leisure. I'll make a nod for you. As long as I lose none and keep, can keep my allegiance clear. Good. Repose the while. The like to you. No such thing. It is the bloody business that informs you. Nature seems dead and wicked dreams of you sleep. Witchcraft celebrates pale Haggis' offerings and withered murder with its stealthy pace and ravishing stride towards his designs moves like a ghost. Thou fur, firm and sure fet, fet her. Hear not my steps, for fear by very stones prey to my whereabouts. I go. And it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that invites me to heaven or to hell. He is about it now. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. Hark, my husband. I have done the deed. This is a sad sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. Consider it not so deeply. These deeds must not be thought after these ways. It will make us mad. He thought I heard a voice cry out, Sleep no 